What's up, guys? Blake Hawthorne, it's his turf. I'm here with Kevin with Fault. I mean, uh, with it's it, his it, turf. It's his turf today. That's right. We're going to be pouring a capstone to a fire pit that's already in place. What we did is the customer wanted to upgrade from the burner here to fire brick. So we cut, drilled out the inside, put fire brick in. And now what we're doing is we're putting a cap on there because that just that ring inside the rock work doesn't look good. So we're gonna put an overhang of capstone on this, cover it all up. We've got a piece of cardboard we're gonna use as our template. And so you can kind of see, we kind of jumped the gun. We weren't gonna do a video. We decided we're gonna do a video now. And so you can see here where we traced around it. So what we did is we literally just set the cardboard down in place, went around the bottom edge and outlined where the fire pit is. We'll then extend it out one inch when we put down our template on the foam. And then we took the box cutter, nice trusty box cutter, we just cut an X getting into each side of it and then we cut out those circles so you can see right here we just literally traced around it cut all those off now we're gonna take this template lay it down on the foam trace it out cut along that white or that black line and then get this put down on the melamine that way we have a template to pour out the perfect capstone for this feature so let's get to it So the next step is we're going to actually cut out this template. We want to have a lip, so I'm going to actually cut the template right on the line, but when we cut the foam, we'll actually come out another inch. Alright, so I think one thing we ought to talk about is the fact that, you know, we're not creating a perfect circle. Right. But we will be scoring the edges to make it look like stone, and that's going to take care of the fact that it does not look like a perfect circle. Sounds good. What did she use that? <laughs> so do I need to measure out like an inch and... Make a line, or no? Just since it's not a perfect circle, you're just gonna kind of eyeball it eyeball to it. give that overhang and, and rock and roll. Yeah, that's gonna be hard to cut. Yeah. Today's video is brought to you by Lowe's. guys got my trusty DeWalt impact sorry Kevin and what we're gonna do is we have t25 bit we have just some deck screws we've got it stenciled out where it's gonna go in place so we're just gonna set a couple pilot holes in here I was just telling Kevin the reason we're using this side that's already got a few imperfections because we're about to put a bunch of holes in this and so I don't want to mess up the side that we haven't used yet that'll be really nice for the next set of countertops so these two little spots will be the only kind of buffing or sanding uh, that we'll have left to clean up and then the other side will be ready to go for a nice eight foot countertop. So let's go ahead and set those into place. I mean, see guys, the problem is, is it the DeWalt? In my truck, because you told me not to do it. What is it doing? It's either that or it's the user. I'm going to go with the user. Are you, do you have it turned in the right way? This part of today's video is brought to you by Lowe's. 
All right, so we have our nice Lowe's buckets because we forgot our other buckets that are Lowe's buckets. But we got more buckets and they're Lowe's buckets. And yes, we had to pay for these because they don't do the bucket exchange. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna fill this puppy up with water. We're gonna put uh, probably about six uh, quarts in each of those buckets. We're gonna do about half to three quarters of a bag um, per bucket. We're gonna do three colors. We're gonna do natural. We're gonna add a little bit of white to get a silver color. We're gonna add a little bit of brown to give it uh, like a, I don't know, almost like that natural fawn or sand tone look we get out of our snowmaker's color. So this can be real similar to the process that we've already done on the countertops a few days ago. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check out that video if you haven't already on our countertop. We're gonna do a very similar process. We're gonna get this stuff wet, we're gonna lay it in. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to trial the top out and stamp it to look like the patio is back here. All right, we have some coloring and some touch up to do. So it's been about an hour and a half, two hours since we poured this. It was cured over an hour ago, but we're about to uh, take all these screws out and then we'll pop it. Uh, most likely the foam's gonna be trash, but uh, we knew that going into it. Blake sent me to go get the camera because we can't decide which side we need to be on. What do you guys think? Do you think the rock side? Or let's swap it. Or that's the marble side, which is what we would usually use for like a countertop. I don't know, I'm feeling the rock side. The stamp side just looks good to me. I think we can color it up and make it look better than this. Yeah, I think this looks out of place. I think this is a little too elegant type of a look than what we're going for at this one. I'm glad that the stamps worked on the other side, but I say let's flip it over. Let's put some color on it, like you said, and just have to blend in with everything else. All right, guys, we got everything wrapped up. It really looks good. I'm glad that we tried the other idea of doing the rock stamp to the top of that patch. Um, it really turned out nice. And uh, the other one just didn't, it looked out of place. So um, customer came out, she approved of it. She said it looked good. We got a, these columns touched up as well. Got those scuffed up. She said those look good. So we're good to go. A little bit of warranty work over here, a little bit of an upgrade to the fire pit and uh, we're finished so we're gonna clean everything up i hope you enjoyed today's video and uh just seeing what, how we did what we did on this uh um, fire pit that sealer if you're wondering about it it is a uv protection sealer and uh we just uh put a coat on it it's gonna look a little blue a little milky uh but once it dries it'll be a like satin so it's not a gloss it's a satin finish but um, guys check it out Till next time god bless we'll see you